In 1887, 22 years after his assassination, Abraham Lincoln's coffin was pried open for inspection of his body, not to determine whether he had died of a bullet fired from John Wilkes Booth's derringer, but to ascertain whether he was in the casket. Following an attempt to steal his body in 1876, a rumor had swept the country that his coffin was empty. A select group of witnesses observed that the rumor was false, then watched as the coffin was resealed with lead. In 1901, 36 years after his death, the martyred president's coffin was ripped open again, this time in the presence of more witnesses. The second opening, over the protest of Lincoln's son Robert, was for the same grim purpose, to make sure the now withered body of Lincoln was in the casket before it was permanently embedded in a crypt at Springfield. The explanation for this ghoulish, grotesque ceremony was the same. Rumors had again implanted doubts in the public mind. State and city officials felt the rumors should be laid to rest along with the Civil War president. It is a sad fact of human life that rumors and gossip can spread like wildfire, ruin a man's reputation, and mislead an uninformed and uneducated public. Con men know how to do this. Advertisers know how to do this. Remember cigarette commercials if you're old enough? The Nazis knew how to do this and the use of their propaganda, which they did learn from Madison Avenue and the advertisers. And why can these people be successful? Because the public is uninformed and uneducated about a certain subject. And when you throw in seductive imagery and the power of the printed word, a conspiracy theory such as the JFK conspiracy theories can take hold. And there is another reason which is psychological, but that's too complex for me to get into that right now. I'll do that in a future video. I just want to quote two different people here, one a fictional person and one a real person, in regards what Charles Roberts said here in the foreword. The first person is Sergeant Joe Friday of Dragnet fame. Just the facts, ma'am. Just the facts. And I would add, I don't want your speculations or theories. Just give me the facts. And the other person is the 19th century philosopher John Stuart Mill, who said, if you really believe in something, you must go find the best argument against it. If you still believe it after that, now you've got something. If you don't do that, it's not yours because you haven't heard both sides of the story and there's always another side of the story. So anybody listening to this, if you want to make an informed decision about the assassination of John F. Kennedy, you must read both sides of the story.